And most people call it vaping as a kind of term for vaporizing. Maybe as we talk, we can come up with something better a than that. More. You don't like vaping. I don't love it. Just in case you haven't heard of vaping, let me tell you all about it. This is what you guys do all day. Vape it up. These are smokeless cigarettes. I hesitate the word sucking. The tech industry's attempt to re-engineer smoking. Do I inhale at the same time as, as a, like a cigarette? Like a cigarette. I visited Silicon Valley-based Thermo Essence Technologies, where they are designing and manufacturing their own high-tech vaporizer. It's kind of warm. No, it's not, not supposed to hurt you. It does not involve combustion, which is taking a flame to tobacco and burning it. Underneath the top Instead, what happens here is the tobacco is so heated that's where you would put it now. and turned into vapor. You can inhale and exhale that vapor, but you don't get combustion. So A, you're not destroying the material that you're trying to inhale anyway, and B, you don't have the negative side effects and consequences of smoke. We're not regulated by the FDA, but we, we in a way, self-regulate. It helps us sleep at night knowing we're not giving people something that can off-gas or can melt. Would people look at this and say it's an electronic cigarette? Some of our products are certainly uh, what we would consider a performance electronic cigarette. And we actually build our atomizers, the little magic part of the device that generates the vapor is our technology that we build right here, you know, 10 feet over that way. We have a, a clean metal tube that is electroless nickel plated. There's no solder, no plastic, no unknown materials in there. It's this precision technology that has made Thermo Essence vaporizers popular here and around the world. I'm trying to figure out if I can hold it in a cooler way. You look pretty cool. You're just saying that. I feel kind of Sherlock Holmesy. Looks fun, right? Uh, so but that was without nicotine. nicotine. You want to try some nicotine? Of course. You I don't do. know. I, I do actually because I want to know how it tastes. <laughs> how about gonna... a dose that a lifetime smoker would consume? Seriously? So this this answers Are you, the you question. You swear to God that's not killing me because no. that is awful. After a few more puffs, I realized this maybe was not my thing. I'm sweating like that is. But you have to. But the folks at Thermo Essence Technologies clearly see a future where tobacco and other substances like medical marijuana could be delivered in a safer way than smoking. And then there's way, way into the future when who knows what we might inhale. People are looking at flavored uh, liquids as a way to kind of sustain your desire to eat a sweet, mm -hmm. you know. And so as a potential weight loss or as a potential curb, curb your cravings method, you get that flavor and that feeling. So uh, I could just have like a little espresso and then yeah, a little the guy, chocolate. The guy, made. the guy at Harvard made inhalable lobster. I don't want to inhale that. But maybe in the Matrix-like future well, where we just yeah. can't, or if we can't farm them anymore. Paper doodle doo. We're always on at CNET.com. I'm Molly Wood. <laughs> I don't know. Now I'm just scooping up.